everyone and welcome back if you've watched my channel for a while now or by a while i mean uh the video i posted last <laughs> wow really long time but uh i played a deck and i ran into alicia alicia was a card in their list so we ended up crushing it, it wasn't really that close kind of felt bad i was super excited about it it was a card i have not yet played against yet and it was super sick it just happened to be one of those hands where i was playing golgari and i had all the removal in the world and every time they played a creature i just said get it off the battlefield so i never really got to see it do its thing and at that moment when all the lights were dark everything was dim i had no hope of finding it a couple of commenters helped me out there was a person that ended up playing it i didn't necessarily like i looked at the list but then a commenter said hey i played this deck and i played it in mythic and i said okay I didn't ask for the facts. I didn't ask you if they were telling the truth. I didn't even really look at it. I just kind of copied it, pasted it, said, all right, bet, I'll play it. <laughs> like, I didn't do anything. So that's why it's titled Works in Mythic. They apparently play it Mythic, and they said it works out just fine. A lot of kind of ones and twos of's in here, along with a lot of four of's. But let's talk about Alicia here real quick, just to kind of cover the basis of what the deck's built around. This is a first striking 2-2 two, two for three mana, no haste. But whenever it attacks, we put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. So it's kind of gets a 3-3. The only real downside is it's burst lightning a bull, torch a bull, cut down a bull. Like it is a very vulnerable creature overall. So you kind of have to play enough early threats that are important that Alicia might actually survive or just get value whenever it enters and you use it as like a three mana reanimate card. But other than that, it has a very cool ability, raid. Raid oftentimes is read differently, but basically what it means is if a creature attacks this turn, this ability can trigger some do it only on ETB. This one does it every end step by going at the beginning of your end step if you attack this turn return target creature card with mana value less than or equal to alicia's power from your graveyard to the battlefield so all we're doing is playing a ton of one and two drops in terms of creatures to bring back over and over again to kind of get a lot of value there and we can see a lot of important ones in the deck list that matter a ton for example like the lag tight stalker is super nice as we can sack it as a removal spell and then bring it back or it also has menace so it's very nice it's just able to be able to attack outside of that we have things like fear of missing out where the delirium part is not super relevant often but we do empty our hand out a ton so a lot of times this is discard zero cards put a card back in our hand and this delirium's online oftentimes we're able to take advantage of that with something like a first striker here or whatnot other than that a new card in the list is seer slicer goblin this is a very cool card and when i was trying to build the list myself a bit i had four of these in felt good when it was online and having like two of them making multiple tokens but i think this card is a little bit more better a little bit more better yeah that's good good english i'm glad i speak it um this card is a bit better in like a boro shell where you can kind of play the enchantments that also ping your opponent for getting a lot of creatures in play or you're wanting to mass a lot of tokens and things like that to play like a knight errant of eos or something so we're down on two of these because it does have that raid mechanic and it does work really well as making like potential blockers it's just like not a four of in this list for me other than that there's an inti very sick card discard a creature bring it back with a leash super dope and outside of that we just have stagger removal spells and that's pretty much it outside of that we've read all these cards i guess there's also an herb board scavenger i barely play this card so i imagine it's kind of the same for everyone but when it enters or attacks exile target card from a graveyard put a one one counter on it it basically gets all of the abilities of the card in terms of not abilities i guess but keywords so that is hex proof indestructible lifelink menace reach trample vigilance death touch haste double strike and first strike so for example a good creature for us to hit with that is better try up a glissa on our turn two their turn three play this exile again giving our herborg that first strike in death touch which is an example you'll see in today's video but outside of that we're gonna go ahead and dive into games if you all enjoy the content please consider subscribing it really helps out the channel a ton and let's go try out this deck that a viewer recommended in platinum yeah sure i guess we have a lot of redraws and of course it's just mono red like I, I feel fine you know they're not gonna be anything else right like all i play against right now and it's so annoying i know i'm starting the video off complaining but like yeah sure but when it just feels like it's literally the only thing you're playing against it's just kind of hard to feel that motivated to keep just running it down, you know?
You can shock me or whatever. I, you can do it at any time. Yep. Here. One. Here. You telling me, Mr. C? You have game actions. I'm gonna play fear here. I feel like one of the only ways we're winning this is if we're just being incredibly quick. One, I guess. There's a dog. Keep going. Let's try to get to this at some point. All right. Oh, I guess they did nothing. Then that hurts me. Don't want land. It should be the last delirium piece I need. Um, if that's the case, I need the enchantment in, so I can't bring that out. We could have brought charming scoundrel back, I guess. Because then that would allowed me to make a treasure for this cut down. But wow, burn. What was your hand, brother? What were we doing? How do we start off so aggressively and then just have nothing else going on? We had three mana. Oh, you were Boros burn, weren't you? You didn't have a white source for your lightning helix and stuff and you kept a bad hand. Oh, yeah. I am first, you say? Sure. Interesting. We'll start off this. Could go with this, but I don't know if that's necessarily worth it. Um, not obviously guaranteed to hit a land. There's a black source. I guess like I can just go for the fear of missing out here. Discard a card. A lot of creatures. Pretty good card. Cut down's like a little worse for wear. I would assume this is probably demon. So I guess cut down's probably the best to get rid of. If I had to guess what my opponent's playing. It's just a two, three. And no do nothing wrong. I would have went for a scoundrel and made a treasure. We would have drew this for turn. It would have been nice. Obviously, no creature in the graveyard. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, sure. We hit a land anyway. Very sweet. No way to give kind of that haste action that we want. So let's just play goblin and then play the stalker. And then we can look to potentially bring it back. Now this is very misleading. It says we have three, but if we reanimate this out, we only have one. All right. You can figure that out. <laughs> uh, I play a scoundrel. I could put a wicked roll on the seer slicer goblin. I would assume Alicia's probably was getting taken. They're going to just try to force me to use my bitter triumph on that deep cavern bat, which I will not. Maybe they'll just get rid of the stalker. Goblin's also annoying. I agree. What would you like to cut down? Your choice. Your move, Batman. Or concede. I don't know <laughs> what. First we are, I see. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Some removal, some kind of hand manipulation on the scoundrels, so I kind of keep. It's like weird that just so much removal is required in our current standard to gathering format. Blue, black, okay. What do you have for a blue map? Ooh. Oh, is this the one one? You have a stupid flash creature. You do, don't you? Yeah, put it in here. Oh, I hate this card so much. I hate him. It's just, honestly, it's not even that I hate the card because of paper, it's like whatever. I just hate that every second we're pausing priority to flash this one drop in. Like, not that it's our opponent fault. Just Arena's like, you want to do it now? What about now? Okay, now? What about now? You want to do it now? Okay, what about now? And you're just like, calm down, brother. <laughs> like, you flash it in whenever they feel like they need to. We have a lot of removal. 
Makes Deep Cavern Bat a little worse. Worse? You can let them sack a creature if they'd like. We say we'll keep the Deep Cavern Bat. Of course, or we can better triumph the Deep Cavern Bat. This card's like fine. It's a lot better than in the like Bant Spirit list. And Pioneer, of course. Ooh, or we answer both. I'm in. Pass. I don't know about my secret trick. Huh? I am afraid of Kaito, to be honest with you. Uh, but if that's the case, sure. The one card in hand works very cool with that. Your life. This one. You can counter it if you'd like. I'll allow it. No! Okay. Well, our mana is going to stay forever painful, I think. So, we're just going to have to rock with it and close the game out. You have another Spectral Sailor? They always have another one, don't they? Oh, cut down. Okay. Significantly, like, worse creature to cut down whenever this one comes in. A bit of the, uh, a little too impatient there. Like, if you're gonna lose your creature regardless, it's just, like, kind of let it happen, you know? And now we have to worry about Enduring Curiosity. Or a Deep Cavern Bat, which our Stalker can technically remove. If that's kind of the route we'd like to go. All right, that resolved immediately. We're gonna do the cool trick with this card. Discard and draw a card. Works out. Lawlessly. What's this bring back? Oh boy, I don't even know if that's worth it. It might be. We get our Charming Scoundrel instantly resolved, but we get to combat, and now there's a priority home. Uh, we'll see. Keep Cavern Bat me again. But again. See what you find. Ah! Sorcery, speed, enduring curiosity. No! Alright. Very sick. Fear of missing out can also do the cool combat trick. Play it. Find another fear missing out. Seems pretty sick. I can do this. I have a cool trick. I can cast this. Yeah. Very fun stuff. Take this out. Could have waited, I guess, but you know. What's the fun in that? Or there. Action triggers. We have a 3 2. They have a 4 3. This charming scoundrel is definitely blocking it. Oh, they pass. Are you scared? Probably not, but that's okay. A bit of triumph. Discard a card. Target this. Or you can find your value if you'd like. I don't even know what all I got in here. Instant land creature. Technically, a fear of missing out needs to be one of those cards. Here. Combat. Heal. If that could happen. Yeah. This one. You have exactly the counter spell too. God, you're so good at this game. I was as good as that player. 
I'd be a very happy camper. Man. Obviously, we throw this 1-1 one, one in the way. I feel that's two card draws. Like, there's a chance I'm ever not doing that. I bet. One. This one. Feeling pretty good considering I'm finding multiple of these fear missing outs, but. I will pay the tip. You could have done both. Okay. I will play this empty. And we can potentially win the game next turn. If they're not careful. Obviously they get two card draws, which definitely sucks, but. Maybe they draw really bad. Maybe they're really bad at the game. I said that they were good, but maybe, just maybe, they'll forget how to block. I don't know. We got a lot of hopium right now. We can make a one-one as well here. Well, it's definitely that. That's definitely getting pitched. First, I'm gonna do this one because, like, why else would I not? Can I do this? Okay. Not a draw effect. All right. Yeah. Hmm. Sure. You figure it out. Uh huh. You do have menace. All right, so now we have options. I could kind of figured out the best way to do it. This is weird. Didn't have that much faith in them, team. I could just let this kill both of these and then torch this away, right? And then that limits their card draw. And I'm still left with this in play. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Go to five. That goes there, sure. Torch this down. Now, obviously, that might have been a little impatient, but when they play counter spells, you kind of have to, like, take, take the empty-handedness as you will. The fear of missing out gives me an additional combat. Empty gives me a draw or an additional attack. So, depending what the card is, although I guess there's not really going to be a card that can do it. Because I would have to be able to draw an additional card. What I was talking about, by the way, is NT cares about when a creature attacks. It doesn't necessarily have to be different combats. So attacking with this, we can discard a card, put a card in our hand, and then we go directly into another combat. There's like at no point would we get a second card. Like, for example, if we hit a Charming Scoundrel and then we did discard and draw and put an extra card in our hand when it was from Exile, there's like no point in which we can do that in time. But I feel like our opponent's gone. So I'll be back, whether they pass the turn or what. Yeah, I'll see you then. All right, I'm back in. They officially timed out. We're officially going to hit them. All oh, it made them concede. Cool, Rene, you couldn't even let me hit them? Come on now. I guess if you have lethal on board, it's just like, all right, we'll get you out of here. I don't know why your opponent left. Oh boy. Yeah, sure. Hell, have some cool cards. Will you play a Glissa? I'd be pretty pumped about that. That one doesn't, it doesn't make me that happy. I have to hold up the bitter trap, I think. I'll just take three in this matchup. Also very cool. They have the, uh, Fere I can't. yeah, they have the Phyrexian Swamp from Jumpstart. That's pretty sweet. 
That took effort. Uh, pay three life. Just, we're going to exile it. So we do not care about losing it necessarily. That's ours. I have trample now. How cool. That's my card. Can't have it. No. I figured out the math, dude. Figured it out. All right. Well, our hand plays really well this turn. I'll tell you that much. This one, this one. They have a cut down here. Do this cutting down tiny bones before I make my decision. Okay. It's fine. Uh, I'll take that. Cause I can answer a planeswalker. And I'll keep it. Please leave it. This gives death touch to my herborg that they know about. Okay. Sure. I also get to answer that, I guess. There's a way to draw a land too. That'd be sick. Uh, station. I select. Yo! Uh, this game's gonna be a very awkward hunt, huh? Yep. Maybe I should have went for this, but like cut down kills it. So it's kind of like that weird part where I didn't really want it to get hit by cut down, you know? Um, do this. Let us go to our graveyard and exile death touch. I'll put that land in the graveyard because I don't think I need many more of those. As cool and hip as that seems. Upstairs. You hold the land for like deep cavern bad effects and stuff like that or duresses to make them just kind of have to interact with it But also because we do play cards that care about the card in our hand Yep, just like that easy Um, the one i'm preferring to is inti you actually have to discard a card. You can't kind of like cheese it like you can with other cards Huh eh. Press. Hey Annoying Super annoying. So I have to basically sacrifice this. Not holding that doesn't do anything. We'll pass. We just got to sacrifice our scavenger because Unholy Annex just wins them the video game. Brother, what if I would have blocked your Glissa? You know what I mean? Like, oh, dude. It's just like a free removal spell. Like, you just don't have to do anything. Oh, man. Sometimes it just no matter. I don't even have it. I barely even have a creature in there. Which one? We're trying. It's like, we're not getting there. Honestly, removing this is just over. Yeah, we lose. Okay, very cool. I feel like okay about that matchup. I feel like it just kind of staggered in a really weird way. All right, we go first. We have Torch. A little bit of a nombo with this, but we'll figure it out eventually. Even though oft oftentimes we're just going to exile our own creatures and things, but we'll see. We will see. One of the situations where like we want to see a maximum of one other land at any time we really need to not hit another one from here life gain mm -mm -mm -mm. no sir i don't want to be done with that not at all actually there's a dog is good but fear of missing out coming in I think I'm behind on dog or I might be able to do both. Well, no, I have to discard. So it doesn't really matter. All right, sweet. What a, what a pickup for the boys, for the home team, if you would, 
Ward's off, life gain, deep cavern bat. Well, it was nice knowing you, big dog. I'll see you in the afterlife. Oh, boy. Where do we go from here? The Urborg, the Alicia. Which one is to play? Goblin, I feel like they're not taking ever. Alicia, I feel like, is the take. But I could see them not. Maybe scared of Urborg if they're the more combo heavy deck. At least brings back creatures that you have to keep removing. Yep, there they went. They looked in my graveyard. No. Oh, wow. Okay. Genuinely, that's kind of surprising. Back. Bring my dog back. But like, instead of making the herb board bigger, what if we just, like, let you bring back the creature? Like, okay. You're fine with me. All right. Show me the bat. Oh, you have cut down. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. A lot of two mana things here. So let's go for Scoundrel here. Then we can go for making a treasure. We can look at this top card. It's a land, so that works well with fear missing out next turn. Go ahead and play this down now. Might as well get it out of the way. Not really changing my game plan otherwise. Um, attack and attack. No block or the creature dies. One or the other. That one comes in. We want that card on top. Unfortunately, we want the card on top. Like, if it was any other card, I'd probably be happier. Malia, come in. It'll go up to four here. Oh, boy. Will they leave the cut down on top? They choose not to. Now they can attack. They'll gain another life. Another Amalia. Already have a 4-4, four, four, which doesn't feel the best. I'll tell you that. Oh, man. So good sometimes. I guess I'm drawing this, right? Here. I have no idea. These all seem good to me. Now here's my menace creature, I guess. Is there a card that I would want to bring back next turn? I guess fear of missing out would be it, right? The way to trigger that. The only problem is like with anti, I'm going to want to keep the card. It's just a weird part that I found with this deck so far is like sometimes the card on top you know, I want to keep but then the Inti is like this weird card with the card on top. Here. Fear of missing out. It's never triggering anytime soon. I haven't hit a land yet but when they play a creature here they can gain more life. Or they can cut down me. I don't know. Well. Brother, I should page. Line here. I, why did I attack them both? I don't know. I felt risky, I guess. No idea why I attacked them both. Land, I'm actually okay with. And I'll hold it in hand for NT to trigger. You now he's back. Leave that on top. That on top, we draw it. Um, I guess I should have bend it because I would turn on delirium. Then Alicia could like attack with kind of two combats, but only be three, so it wouldn't matter too much. This might be the first game Amalia just actually goes to 20. <laughs> I'm to a flyer. The patience on waiting to see if they draw like a tap source. Well, there's a card that's pretty good here. It's that one. Would indeed be this one. No? Not something I necessarily need. Just this attacking? I actually want to permanent my graveyard. I guess Charming Scoundrel is also not a bad one, right? Or this. Delirium price is paid. 
kind of force him to block the charming scoundrel bitter triumph uh, this one yes uh take the action i'll lose all the life sure why not it's where i'm at there's a lot of things happening land's fine Again, we're okay with the land because we want to discard it to NT. And with both these fear missing outs in play, the delirium's offline again. Now we have the stalker that we can sacrifice to get rid of the pilgrim. I don't know. I think that just goes to show in that deck whenever I'm playing it. I probably just need to play Amalia more. Amalia is really good. And that just went that just brick walled me from being able to attack but i don't have an overwhelming like lord per se i kept on top so they deep cavern bat sure Didn't do quite that much not what they want is it a creature they control dies roll enter it's whenever another creature you control dies okay down the eight okay the rest four line angel elise okay a lot of a lot of stuff a lot of stuff you say but now with fear missing out i have extra combats pretty much um let us go to combat i guess here i would like this to grow more so we untap there i guess this has menace so it feels good to attack with it we hit let's make this larger what they block here if they block at all okay yeah here uh-huh am i willing to take that damage so if i get rid of this i take like no damage at all so i guess remove this this is like a really bad play by me to put the counter there I'd like a weird feeling to keep it around until like this combat part, but obviously NT has nothing going on. This is another six coming across the board. Our opponent just ends up taking it. This triggers, it will bring back, I guess for now, it should just be the stalker. And then fear missing out can stay. It's a free card draw. And now, based on what their hand is, there's like no out. Obviously, they could have drawn something, but as of right now, there's no out. A weird game to crawl back into, that's for sure. Or line, trigger, bring back a leaf. Attack with bat, gain two, bring back a mall. Yeah, okay. So here's the only downside of that one, boss. Is at least it's gonna be a five-five. With basically two combats in trample. Because NT's probably untapping it. Yeah, at this point I don't even think with fear of missing out, I don't even care. I think this is all out of attack by me. Spears. Tap here. Yeah, I mean, it's just no out attack. There's going to be a 5-5. Five, five, two combats with first strike and trample. Like, I just don't know how they beat it. Because NT, whenever puts a counter on something, gets trample. So even if this blocks, it'll actually be a 6. But then they'll get hit for one. So they basically have to block with too much. And then that didn't even work. Because then they just do a little bit of damage to it. It gets the attack again. This gets to go away, barring what we end up hitting. It turns out that 
Kind of went well. Very cool. Opponent goes first. It's not fair. You want to keep this? I assume the answer is yes. We have a draw. We have three cards to cast. One card pretty good as long as one of these gets to attack. Turn it in the tank. They keep. We keep. We all keep. Golgari. Ooh. See? Maybe that's what took so long. Maybe they didn't have like a ton of removal. Always a little bit questionable. Let's take a draw. Okay, so I think the removal was the issue. Potentially. But now we can come down. These, these triggers we make creatures. We go a little wider here. A little faster. A little wider. You would. Put four damage on board. Putting them to 14. We do have that removal spell, which would be really nice. We have a creature with menace as well here. Land War Elves. Okay. Okay. Let's see what happens if I just attack with this. It does have Menace, so they do have to double block. But no block there. Hound. Uh, I don't think there's a reason. Don't do that. Uh, I guess we just end our turn. We'll make a little dude. Cycle up here. Another snarl. I'll just put that in the bin so we have like Alicia plays. And I didn't necessarily waste a turn there because I'm looking to bitter triumph something important. As we progressively go wide here. The art's so sick. I like that art a lot. I was looking at it. You don't have to look at it. Mm -mm -mm. Brutal. Press. They looked at it and they removed it. Oh, sick. Now we could remove Liliana, but I think. Yes. Sacrifices must be made. Liliana is going to go down here. I'll have to cycle this next turn if they want to keep it. I'm honestly just thinking about doing three damage because like this is obviously going to be vulnerable to removal. Right? Yeah. Like taking three damage from Bitter Triumph, not necessarily discarding a card. Like I'd much rather play this because this is now an active land that we can use to progress. All right. Now I don't even have to really decide. We'll pop this thing down. Play this, move the combat. So a good old fashioned double hit here. Play this out. Time. The triggers, another lane can go in the graveyard. This brings back, of course, we bring back the goblin. Uh, Urborg, pretty good. If we ever kill that Mosswood again, we can then exile it. Also, just a good creature in terms of like. Taking on some of the abilities that we might need, for example, like the stalker, if we sacrifice or it gets blocked and die, we can give it menace as well. Here comes that. I have a couple of things with menace here. Quite a bit, actually. And obviously, Alicia is going to be the block, I think. <sighs> no way to give it a counter, right? It's going to happen on the instep. Lilies in the yet bin. They let that go. I could play another one. I can also discard something here. Let's bring this up. Who's a combat? Let's attack here. I mean, at this point, is there anything even important? Another dog? I guess I don't even care about that. I'd much rather do this. Oh, I forgot the counter that that was going to get. Oh boy, I messed that one up, huh? I forgot it would get a counter because then I could have sacked a stalker. Yeah, it's kind of a mistake here for me. 
just inexperience with this card more than anything because then i could just sack the stalker right there and get that thing dead yeah that's kind of annoying can't believe i did that I guess I could have put the fear of missing out in the graveyard and brought it back next turn. It's just, oh uh, man. Another one of the overlords, okay. We're getting there. Alicia? And that we already played a land for turn. We don't necessarily want it. Play a fear. Go ahead and bid that as well. Not necessarily the worst creature of all time to bring back. Want to trigger everything for now. Hold up a turn. Yep. Get my death touch your back. And that immediately make another dude trigger another thing discard another land and now we pretty much have lethal guaranteed next turn just an innkeeper's talent and a level up here it looks like so is that kind of on a dead hand then double level up here okay well this has menace so this is pretty much a guarantee hit the rest does nothing it is Okay, I was going to look. So I actually, interesting enough, I could just go to combat. I'd have to do the math to double check and make sure. But I think we're actually able to cast this to rest, which would put a sorcery in there, making this available. And then we just put like, we get to untap this and have it kind of attack again. Well, let's say they block the biggest things, block and then block. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, yeah, so we had enough technically plus this land, but... I like to be a little bit more concise about it. I guess they can't even block this, right? Because then it's, what, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? Yeah, we had it covered regardless. Another tap out there is a little weird. I think you have to leave up at Landwar Elves. I understand playing the other thing. Maybe they were the combo deck and just hoping I wouldn't attack for some reason. But, all right. Coolio. Coolio. We keep. I think I want to play for the potential chance of hitting an untap land here. For these guys if I hit an untap land I get to play them if I don't then I just hold up cut down or I get hit with the cut down myself how about it's just a little poke it's fine rude here and we'll cut down their deep cavern bat when they play it against us if I had to guess of what creature is going to come down here. It could be a Mosswood, I guess. People starting to play out the Mosswood a bit more and more, which is a nice change to see. A lot of people weren't doing that at first for some reason. Here. We're just going to make a treasure. Now they have a decision to make, especially with Unholy Annexes and stuff like that. They have to kind of decide, like, cycle this and save it or just play an Unholy Annex or Glissa. That'll also do it. Um, we actually have a pretty sick play for that. We play invasion. We make them sack it. And then I can go for the seer goblin here. And then next turn I can Urborg make copy this or exile the glissa, which will give my stuff for strike and death touch. It's attacking here. I'm going face I'm trying to make that unholy annex as miserable as possible. If I'm able to. You have to watch for things like deadly cover up, but that's only like a one or two of in the decks most of the time. Land tapped, nothing going on too much. Combat. They might think we're going for that. Zero chance I go for that. I'm going straight to face. Do something like a go for the throat here. We know windows open. Obviously, I guess they would only have one mana. But there is zero chance they would just cut down. Yes, yeah, so there's an anoint. Definitely answer the scavenger later. Let's play scavenger now. Obviously, you missed a little dude here, but it seems pretty clear that they don't necessarily have anything. And then we can exile a trampler from their graveyard. So this will now have first strike, death touch, and trample, which is an absolutely devastating combination of abilities to have together. 
Combat. Have a better triumph. This is going upstairs. You can bring up this line if they want, but if they do do that, I just better triumph it. And I'll just take it as a wasteland. We will commit nothing else. That's fine. Like not fine, obviously it sucks, but is what it is. I mean, having to use a Terra Sunder there is typically a pretty desperate play to have to make. Now we're just kind of in a leash away. All right. Pretty much going empty handed now. One card up. I don't think I don't think it's going to be the removal. Might as well flip that now. I'm so dumb. Sure. Play it now, I guess. I just missed out on three points of damage on face. That's so annoying. They level up the annex. Def it's definitely desperation, but I don't think they will. All right. Well, team. Maybe I'll just attack them this turn. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, I guess realistically. Honestly, if this three damage matters, I'm actually going to be tilted. You'll see me. I'll cry. And I think it's going to matter. I think they would technically be dead here. Um, yep. Definitely don't want that land. We don't need that follow up. It's going to matter, isn't it? Well, they probably blocked a goblin. They take three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They'd technically still be alive, I suppose. As menace, unless you found a removal spell. The Reaper's also disgusting. Both of the cards are actually pretty annoying overall. They anoint there, okay. All right. The four damage, we have it covered. Kind of depends whether they can put enough stuff in the way. One creature won't do it. They'll have to have another turn like that. Because both things will have menace. Not anointing the land though is kind of interesting. Up. We're in. I guess if I hit a land, I'm gonna be pretty upset Again, they have to have another situation where they block and have a removal spell and the sweat three damage I missed earlier bites me Oh boy Oh, thankfully it does not come back. I don't know You know how like when you're attacking and you hit the button to like do all attacks That's what I was doing. That's why I hit that I realized I directed them all there because if you hit all attacks They all come up and then you can redirect them and for whatever reason I thought it worked the opposite way for like a brief I know it doesn't but for a brief second I thought it did and that's what ended up happening. So uh, With that misplay, I think I'm done. I think I'm done playing games today. I don't want to play no more All right, so I recently played a video in which I recently played a deck in a video and ran up against this card right here and I thought the deck was super cool, super interesting. And someone in the comments, they can gladly, I can pin a comment, I think. They can gladly comment on this and I'll pin it. I don't want to say their name if they don't really want it to be said. I know sometimes it's a little weird because like you comment on the video, you recommended a deck. I don't think they would care, but I'm not going to do it unless they want me to. Um, but yeah, so this is definitely a list from a viewer who stumbled upon the channel and they said, hey, I'm in Mythic currently. 
and this is the alicia i don't know if i'm saying that right but this is the alicia deck i am currently playing in mythic and it works pretty well i ended up just kind of copy and paste it. I said, you know what? Bet. I'm not looking up. I didn't ask for statistics. I didn't ask if they were telling the truth. Heck, they could have been 0 and 30. And I said, you know what? Sure, I'll run it. I don't care. I'll, I'll run it down. And realistically, putting in the deck, I was like, wow, that's a lot of one and two drops. That's a lot of one and two drops. But it works out. I think a card that's really cool in here they were playing is this Invasion. I love this card overall. It's just kind of like our two mana Liliana in a way. It just works out pretty decently it's definitely kind of one of the like if there's a card you would replace in the future this could be it maybe you want to play like a shieldress edict or something they have a little bit more instant speed but sometimes flipping it over because it has menace is super relevant but outside of that it felt like i had enough removal on curve i had enough protection in terms of going wide on curve i had kind of the, enough interaction and fear of missing out was enough of a threat on its own that it was kind of nice like this isn't the best fear of missing out deck of all time but I also think like when you do get it online, having all these menace creatures is very devastating. And it's more of a loot in this deck than it is anything else that you can cycle with an Alicia. It's not necessarily to trigger the delirium part from what I'm what I've felt so far. I, I mean I could be wrong. Limited amount of games overall. But the snarl sick. This card I think is underrated currently right now. Just being able to kind of grow it over and over and sack it and then bring it back with the leash seems super nice. Tiny bones, pretty sick card. The only downside i have is with torch to tower i would probably like this to be maybe a burst lightning so i don't miss out on potential tiny bones value that felt like i was missing out on a couple of times that's not necessarily a big deal because exiling the mouse is probably more important than being able to play the mouse you know what i mean but outside of that two duresses is sick and two cut downs is nice other than that a card in here that i really liked was this i tried it like i i tried to build a deck with this and it just kept coming up short and really weird where I had these in the deck and I like this card an awful lot. I think it's pretty good. It helps you go wide. I do think like we're pretty close to a Krinko style deck being able to be played because of a card like this. We have the, um, we call it uh, sideways monkey, whatever that little dude is. Goblin. Uh, why did I, Goblin. Goblin. Uh, this guy, fanatical firebrand. We called it a, sideways monkey or something like that i don't remember exactly the nickname it had when i started playing this was a card that was currently legal in the format as ixalan was like the last set to about to rotate rotate out of the format whenever i was playing standard for the first time ever but with that said this deck felt really fun really good felt really nice and outside of that i hope you all enjoyed the video catch you in the next one thanks for watching and goodbye